Hey guys, I'm here with Jackie. We're gonna film a home workout, 30 minutes. It's gonna be really basic movements, so it's gonna be easy for beginners. Um, it's gonna be a handful of exercises with a warm up. Hope you guys like it. Thanks for all the support. Okay, so first we have the warm up. Um, each exercise is gonna have 30 seconds. It's going to start off with butt kicks. The key to this is to stay tall, get your heel to your butt, and alternate your feet. Your hands can be wherever, by your sides or um, in front of your chest. And you're gonna just go for 30 seconds just to get the blood flowing, get the heart rate up. So that's the first move, butt kicks. After that, we're gonna transition to side to sides. This is the stretch. We wanna make sure we're pointing our thumbs to the wall behind us, keeping our hands nice and tall. That way we're stretching our lats, fully extending at the top and then we're reaching for the opposite foot without any bend in the knee. You wanna have a slight bend, probably like 10%, but no more than that to ensure that you get a stretch in the hamstrings also. So that's the second move, side to sides. After that, we have walkouts. So a walkout is gonna be a quarter squat. You're gonna bend your knees, reach for the floor. You're gonna go into a full plank and then come back to the top. Jackie does a really good job here, but we're gonna see how good she does later in the video. <laughs> She's doing pretty good right now, squeezing her core, stopping in the plank, squeezing her butt. Once again, all these moves last for 30 seconds. It's okay if you mess up, you're just getting warmed up. This is another exercise that's gonna work the heart rate. Okay, so we're moving on to the fourth move, fast feet, staying on our toes. Your hands can be at your side, hands can be on your hips. The key to this is just alternate, tap your toes, you can go as fast as you can, or you can slow the tempo down if you have you know, any injuries or you just wanna decrease the impact on your joints. So 30 seconds, keep going. Hands to your side, Jackie's trying to stay focused. She can't. Then we're on the move number five, jumping jacks. So jumping jacks can be really hard the longer you do them for. So we're only gonna do it for 30 seconds the last exercise to kind of get our heart rate ready and get it up a little bit for the exercises up ahead in the workout. So she's doing pretty good so far, not too bad. She's going for the whole 30 seconds. Each of these are gonna be shown just so you know that it's possible to do it. Okay, so now let's get onto the warm up, the actual workout. So for the workout, each exercise is gonna last one minute. We're gonna do three rounds and there's seven exercises. So seven times three, it's 21. And then we're gonna include the warm up, and then about 30 minutes, including breaks. The first move you're watching Jackie do is a lateral lunge. She's gonna step to her left, do a squat with one leg and a straight leg with the opposite leg. Hand placement can be on your hips or in front. You really want to focus on driving through your heels. Don't overextend the knee past the toe. And you can kind of slow the tempo down. You're going to have a lot of rounds and you're going for a full minute. Really, really feeling it in your glutes on the side that you're pushing off of. So it's going to really require you to squeeze it and push through that heel. An up Next exercise we have is shoulder tap push-ups. So with the shoulder tap push-ups, you're gonna just do a regular push-up, and then you're gonna tap one hand to the other shoulder, the other hand to the other shoulder. Then you're gonna continue with the push-up. Benefits of this is obviously you're getting that activation from your chest. You're working your core because you're in a plank for a period of time. Um, working your posterior chain too, making sure your back isn't sinking in. As you can see, Jackie gets a little bit tired here. Um, you can modify it if you do get tired. You can go to your knees. The key to this is to keep your butt down um, so that way you still have that flat plane from your shoulders to your knees. So it should be a straight line. Even though it's a modification, you should still be able to feel you're working hard and getting the activation out of your chest. It's all about squeezing your core and full extension. Okay, so moving on to exercise number three, we have the bird dog. So for the bird dog, we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side of our body. 
You want to point that thumb to the ceiling, as Jackie will soon do in a couple of seconds. She's keeping her opposite arm, opposite leg, both of them as straight as she can. She's also maintaining a flat back by pulling the hip to the floor that has the leg extended. Right, keeping that hand under her shoulder, she's squeezing her core, squeezing her glutes, and at the 30 second mark, she switches. She pulls her hip to the floor, keeps her feet level, keeps that thumb pointed to the ceiling, and keeps her hand as high as she can. Once again, guys, we're working posterior and anterior core, focusing on keeping that back flat, squeezing our abs, keeping the hands and feet as high as we can. So we're gonna do all these exercises for a minute. 30 on the left, 30 on the right for the bird dogs. Okay, we're moving on to exercise number four, crunches. So unlike the traditional crunch where we have our hand behind our head, we're gonna have our hands on our thighs. We're gonna reach our fingers to the top of our knees, ensuring that we get our shoulder blades off the ground. Not trying to tense our neck up too much because a lot of people when they do crunches, they feel in their neck, usually because they're too tense. Jackie's trying to stay focused because they got kind of hard there for a second. Um, yep, so just keeping our hands on our thighs, guys, reaching those fingertips to the top of the knees. Of course, this is an ab exercise, so we're working that the top of our abs here. The key is to show the blades off the floor. Cannot stress it enough. Go at your own pace. Once again, we're going for a full minute. And then we're going to combine this with the following exercise, which is exercise number five coming up right now. Okay, so for exercise number five, we have reverse crunches. So for the reverse crunches, you're gonna bring your knees to your chest and you're gonna straighten out your legs and keep your toes pointed to the ceiling. Nice and slow, control the tempo. If it's too hard, you can take a break, drop your legs. So we just finished working the top of our abs with the crunches. Now we're gonna work those lower abs that everybody has a problem with, with these reverse crunches. One of my favorite exercises, really simple. You can do these anywhere and they always target those lower abs. Keeping our palms at our side, you can get a little bit wider of an angle, 45 degrees, or you can have them right next to your hips, keeping your back flat. So you really wanna tuck your hips so that way your back isn't arched and you're not putting a strain on your back and you're focusing on your lower abs by squeezing your abs the whole time. Making sure you're remembering to breathe. Exercise number five. So we're gonna move on to exercise number six. So at this point in time, Jackie's getting a little tired and so will you. We're starting with our squat to curtsy lunge. You're gonna do a squat between each lunge. The curtsy lunge, you're gonna drop that back foot behind and get the knee behind the opposite foot. With a squat in between each rep, really feeling it in our glutes for this one. Once again, one minute, cons consecutive, nonstop. I think Jackie falls here in a little bit. Yep, she gets a little tired. She messes up too. No, she messes up, she forgot to squat. Look, she did a lunge. Yep, right there. <laughs> We're moving on, exercise number seven. So this is from the warm up. so we should already be familiar with this. It's the walkouts. Once again, a little bit of a metabolic demand in the body, so it's gonna get your heart rate up a little bit. You're also working that core with the plank for a second. You don't wanna do a push up. You wanna also keep your hands under your shoulders and keep a straight line from your shoulders to your heels. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all the exercises. Thanks for watching.